Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, last time I told y'all about the year 2017, and I don't think I told y'all, before I started losing weight I was about 110 pounds, and the lowest I ever saw it get down to was 89 pounds. I don't know if it went lower. I eventually got to the point where I just quit checking because it was too discouraging for me. So, the doctors knew we had to do something about my weight. So, it is my senior year of high school, and they decide to do a G-tube. And if you don't know what a G-tube is, it's a tube that goes into your stomach, and basically you can get feeds, which is formula, that has a lot of calories to go into your stomach so that you can get the nutrients that your body needs. So I have a G-tube. I can show that to y'all. So that's what it looks like. It is very small. It doesn't bother me at all. At first I was a little self-conscious about it because sometimes you could sort of tell that there was something there through my clothes, but it doesn't bother me anymore like it used to. So that was in February of 2018. So it took time to recover. I was still very weak and trying to adjust. And I eventually did adjust and graduated high school on time, which was a big accomplishment because in 2015, after my surgery, we weren't sure if that was going to even be possible. And I was so thankful it was. So I did that. And the summer... I don't think we really did anything much that summer. Oh, we did one of my biggest dreams. I was unable to go on my senior trip because I was too sick. And one of my biggest dreams was to go and meet the Dolphin Winter from Dolphin Tail. If you haven't seen it, it's a true story and they also have Dolphin Tail too. And so I was able to go to the aquarium to sort of celebrate graduation and I didn't get to actually meet Winter but I got to meet Hope and I will try and insert a photo here. Meeting Hope was one of the best experiences I had. I did find out that a lot of the stuff in the movie is not true. Um, but it was still a wonderful experience to meet her. So we spent some time in Clearwater that summer and then went to visit my dad's side of the family that live in Florida. And after that, I, it was time to start college. So I started my first year of college, my first semester. I took history and English, I think. Not 100% sure on that. No, I took math and history. That's what I did. And during that semester, we actually went to a conference. It's called the Mitonic Dystrophy Conference. It was in Nashville. I actually had the opportunity to go the year before as well. And the year before, it was the first time that I actually met someone outside of my family with Mitonic Dystrophy. And that was a really good experience to connect with some people who had the disease. And so I got to reconnect again, see those people that I had met the year prior. And we met a family who lived a couple hours away from us, which was nice to be able to meet them. And we still try and keep in contact with them. So I did that. 
And then time went on. I was still having the breathing pain. And then... Hmm. It was a week or two before Christmas. And... Trying to think back. <laughs> I don't know if it was in the middle of the night. I think it was in the middle of the night again. I had the awful breathing pain that I told y'all about. And... Hmm... I ended up going to the ER. I went to an ER close to my house this time because I just could not handle the pain. And after a few hours, they transported me by ambulance to Le Bonner Children's Hospital. And I was in a lot of pain. And it just seemed like every time a new symptom was being added. First time it was just my ribs. Second time it was my ribs and my chest. This time it was my ribs, my chest, and I had some shoulder and neck pain and just was not sure what in the world was going on and why I was having this pain. They didn't keep me as long this time, which I'm not very surprised. Um, the neurologist that was working that week said they have tried many things and there was nothing they could really do to help me. Which was discouraging. Hearing that there's nothing that can be done it was not ideal. I was in a lot of pain and I still in pain every day and right now there's nothing they can do to help me so it's been a long journey and is ongoing so sorry I just killed a mosquito I came home after two days celebrated Christmas because that actually now that I'm thinking about it, it was Christmas Day that I went to the hospital. So, not how I wanted to spend Christmas. <laughs> but, yeah. Came home. Didn't really do much. I was in a lot of pain. I was very dizzy which also concerned me, that the doctors weren't focusing on the dizziness. Um, but that ended up subsiding soon. And I got to come home, have Christmas with my family. My grandfather was in town at the time, so I got to spend some time with him and played Phase 10. I love Phase 10. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so 2018 was the G-tube and another hospitalization and my lifelong dream of meeting the dolphins came true. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, you can comment, and also please hit the subscribe button. It's red below this video, and hit the notification bell next to it to get notified whenever I post a new video. I'll see y'all next time. Bye, guys. Today's piece of encouragement is a verse from Second Chronicles. I don't know the exact reference, um, but it is, we do not know what to do but our eyes are fixed on you.